Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Lucas de Plessis. I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Mechanical and Aeronautical Engineering at the University of Pretoria. And it is my absolute privilege to close this inaugural 2023 free CAD and free CAE Users Conference. I would like to start off with the necessary acknowledgements. Thank you to the Faculty of Engineering, Built Environment and Information Technology, or EBIT for short, at the University of Pretoria, and specifically the Department of Mechanical and Aeronautical Engineering, as well as our HOD, Professor Skal Kok, for allowing us to host the conference under the very proud banner of our department that has been established over six decades. Thank you also to our sponsors, Engineering X, the Royal Academy of Engineering and Lloyd's Register Foundation. The funding that I was awarded and that made this conference possible is part of the Engineering X Skills with Our Most Needed Permission, which seeks to support the delivery of skills and edu education programs that will lead to the development of much needed engineering skills capacity, enhanced safety standards, and infrastructure that remains safe and fit for purpose. A very big thank you goes to the FreeCAD originators, Jürgen Riegel, Werner Meyer, and Jorik van Havre, and the many people who have developed and contributed to FreeCAD and its workbenches over the course of 22 years. Varnu Governor, final year mechanical engineering student at the University of Pretoria, needs a special acknowledgement. Varnu arranged the conference mostly on his own, with me merely giving high level guidance. I completely relied on Varnu for all the detailed arrangements and he has done an excellent job. Then, of course, the 20 or so presenters of this inaugural free CAD and free CAE Users Conference. I have deep gratitude for the work you've put in to your presentations, without which this conference would not have been possible. Please allow me to mention the names of the team of people behind one of the free CAD workbenches, namely the NICRADAP workbench that was presented on day one of the conference. Professor Parvitz Nikravesh, retired professor from the University of Arizona in the United States, for making his planar multi-body dynamic analysis algorithm available to us. Dr. Alfred Burgers, for the massive effort he's put into revision one of the NICRADAP workbench that was released in February 2022. And then Dr. Cecil Chums for the Revision 2 NICRADAP workbench that we released at this conference. A million thank yous will fall short to acknowledge what Dr. Chums accomplished. Thank you and thank you again. This conference is then dedicated to everyone who has contributed to FreeCAD's development, as well as everyone who is now inspired to contribute to the further development of FreeCAD and its ever-growing list of workbenches. Which brings me to sharing my dream of what the future may hold, not only for the FreeCAD and Free CAE Users Conference, but also for FreeCAD as a technology enabler in South Africa and the rest of my beloved continent. Firstly, the conference. I would love for the Free CAD and Free CIE Users Conference to be hosted not annually, but quarterly, and as a hybrid in person and online event in different regions of the world. With that said, I am very excited to announce that the University of Pretoria's Mechanical and Aeronautical Engineering Department will host the African Region Free CAD and Free CIE Users Conference in quarter one of 2024, 
with the in-person proceedings being held at the University of Pretoria's Future Africa campus and the online attendees joining us via Hop-in, which is the platform that we used also for this conference. And what you see on the screen are a few photographs of our lovely Future Africa campus. Truly a world-class facility. Now it only follows then that I want to challenge the other regions of the free cat world to do the same for quarter two, quarter three and quarter four of 2024. And now ladies and gentlemen, I've saved the best for last. Please allow me to share my dream of what FreeCAD can achieve as a technology enabler. I envisage containerized computer labs being installed in every rural and underprivileged community and in South Africa and beyond. This idea is not new as you can see on the screen. But my vision is slightly different from what is portrayed here. What you see on the screen now is a top view sketch of a 20 foot container and it is divided into cubicles. And so the container is a roughly 2.4 meters wide. So we split it in half and uh, we divide the length of the container into six um, cells or cubicles, in actual fact 12 cubicles, six here at the top and six here at the bottom. Each cubicle, the top ones and the bottom ones, um, is equipped with a door that hinges open and then the person can go in, there's a desk um, as well as a computer with a keyboard uh, and then of course also a chair. Right, so the computers are Linux operated, used computers, second hand computers that are cheaply available throughout South Africa at universities, from universities and even companies. And um, Linux, as you know, of course, is also a, an open source operating system. And then each computer will also be the latest version of FreeCAD. Now, uh, each cubicle can then also be equipped with uh, cameras to ensure security and um, so one can do online training in each cubicle for registered students so you can verify that the student you've registered is in fact the person sitting in front of the computer uh, and you can then also do online certification of a, of a person's skills. So there are many options and possibilities available. I'm just really um, dreaming on a high level. There's a lot of work that still needs to, get, to happen, um, but I think the vision is clear. So, but, and the good news is the vision doesn't stop here. The next logical step is for the containerized computer labs to, to be complemented with containerized manufacturing cells that can 3D print, CNC machine, plasma cut, and even plastic injection mold parts that have been designed using FreeCAD. This idea is also not new. As you can see here, um, there's a factory in a box. Um, there's also this resource that I found on the internet with Nokia doing a containerized or a factory in a box concept. So definitely something that is viable. Once the parts have been manufactured, the final piece of the puzzle, once the, the, so the parts get designed in these containerized computer labs on FreeCAD, the parts then get manufactured in containerized manufacturing cells that are also positioned in the rural and uh, underprivileged communities. And then the final piece of the puzzle is these parts then get assembled by the community members um, into final products or sub-assemblies that can be marketed at the higher end of the value chain. Now I'm sure that you will agree with me that this dream is well worth pursuing, especially when thinking about the massive impact that it can have in job creation 
and GDP building. Now, with that said, I would like to thank you for attending the 2023 Free CAD and Free CAE Users Conference and, of course, also for listening to me. Thank you very much.